Honey Tree Live. Today is September 6th, 2019, and we are very excited to have Dump Him in the studio with us today. Take it away, guys. Yeah. Live with Dump Him. What's up, everybody? How are you? Good. Good. Yeah. I'm so, so glad you're here. I'm so glad you guys brought the skateboard. Yeah. yeah. Is it here with us in the studio right now? No. I think we forgot it, but we shred the gnar in our hearts constantly. <laughs> Dope. Uh, are you guys big skateboarders? Some, them mostly. No. no. <laughs> kind of. Very she's bad. shy. Okay. Maddie and I like to cruise around Lower Alston. Yes. <laughs> we can't do tracks. That's it. Yeah. Cool. Just fast in a straight fast. line. <laughs> do you guys no go turns. in like busy, like on busy streets? You know, I, I kind of used to, like, because I used to skate around Alston like all the time a couple summers ago with our two friends. Mm -hmm. But I get really scared because I'm like, <laughs> what if you fall? Yeah. And as I, I never skateboard. I've like stood on a skateboard maybe once in my life. And so as a person who has driven a car by skateboarders, I'm so nervous for them mm. all the time. I'm like, I don't want yeah. you to die. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to die either. I don't want to die. I feel like I it's never the risk you take. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it but. is the risk you take. Yeah. So. Uh, but you guys are from uh, Massachusetts. Hell yeah, oh, we yeah, are. Baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> big, big skateboard culture out there. It's pretty good. I feel like Boston and surrounding areas do have a lot of skaters. Mm -hmm. A lot of boys. But mm -hmm. boys yeah. are cool. Boys are chill. We like boys. That's our official mm, take. They're awesome. He was a skater boy. Seriously. <laughs> That's our official take. It is. Boys are cool. I like them. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's talk about your movie. Oh, hell you yeah. You guys made a, or were in a film. Yeah. What, can you tell me about that? Um, so uh, Liz Walber, uh was the director and uh, writer of a film called Shelf Life that me and Maddie were just intensively working on for like the past week and a half or so with her friends like Zoe, Portia, Indy, other people. Uh, Lars was in it. Uh, their official role was Random Dyke. Yeah. Uh, Maddie, do you want to talk about what it's about? Um, it's like a, like a, a post-apocalyptic Dyke love story set uh, in like some vague future in Western Mass, the okay. lesbian capital of the world. Um, and yeah, it's really good. It's like it's like really, it's like, it seems like it'd be a sad movie, but it's like a really cute movie. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, yeah, it's really good. I think it's really cute. And it's going to come out in like a year. Nice. Yeah. And it'll be good. Yeah, there's already a rough cut. Liz is like a fucking. We finished it like three amazing. days ago. And yeah. it's already kind of, it's already kind of working. So. Nice. Yeah, it's awesome. How did you guys get involved with it? Um, Liz is just incredible. Liz is, Liz is my partner. Um, and uh I really, really like the script. I don't act. I tried out for it, and I think I did a good job. 
You did a good job. You did great, dude. Yeah. yeah. And then Maddie works on movies. That's yeah, like I work her in the job. Film industry, so I was just oh, like, cool. I'm down. Yeah. Nice. So. Yeah. I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Let me know when it's out. Uh, we will. All right. It's cool. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm excited to hear your next few songs. Hell yeah. All right. Thank you. 
live with dump him it sounds great thank you um so you guys just came out with your album dykes to watch out for last uh friday mm-hmm. right how does it feel to have it out in the world surreal yeah. um i it's like the first full length really nicely recorded thing that we've done and uh the fact that anybody's listening to it is amazing um i'm really really stoked it's like a vulnerable thing but an amazing thing yeah. yeah, and I mean, I know that like reviews, but like you guys got like really good pitchfork review. Yeah, which right? is really cool. Yeah, I, the yeah. <laughs> I, I was, mean, yeah, I was like, fuck the Beatles. Yeah, <laughs> we're better. Yeah, no, that was it was really nice, and I feel like uh, Lenny, who wrote the review, uh, really got it. So yeah, appreciate it a lot. Yeah, because yeah. I was gonna ask like, what is like, do you guys put weight on those like when you read the reviews ever? I don't know. Sometimes people say shit that I'm like, maybe this is sexist and I get mad. Yeah. But other than that, no. I mean, like, everyone can have whatever the fuck opinion they want. If people don't like the record, I don't mind at all. But it it, it means a lot, I think, when people get it. Like, Mm -hmm. if someone's like, oh, this is what they're trying to do, no matter if it's good or bad, as long as they know what we're trying to do. Yeah. You know? It's the communication. Yeah. That's That's a good distinction. Somebody somebody on an evil forum said... (laughs) (laughs) Are the members of Dump Him dudes or chicks? I cannot tell. We can't either. And we're like, Honestly, it's working. <laughs> the brand is strong. That's my favorite review. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, those are the reviews I care about. Uh-huh. I don't put weight on the Pitchfork one, but the, um, <laughs> the dudes or chicks one was yeah. the one that I want to put. I'm glad we're confusing them. Yeah, yeah, like on your next album, like, yeah. like a byline or whatever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> dudes or chicks, question mark, question mark. That's the next album title. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's the next album title. We've heard it here to hear first. Um, but you guys are working with uh, Get Better Records, right? Yeah. This. Can you tell me about how you guys started working with them? Lars, do you want to? Uh, yeah. I mean, we have known Alex, who started Get Better, for a while now. And they've always been super kind to us and really supportive of Dump Him. And we played um, Get Better Fest last spring in Philly. And that was really, really cool. And when we were recording the record, they had just reached out and they were like, hey, like, will you send this to me when it's done? And we were like, okay, cool. And they really liked it. And they're so sweet and amazing. Yeah. They're an angel. Shout out to Alex. Shout also, out to Allie and Jenna, too. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Allie and Jenna. And shout out to Zach Weeks in the North Shore where this record was recorded. <laughs> Dope. We love Zach. Yeah. Um, yeah, so but yeah, better has been great. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. They're doing amazing shit. Yeah, I feel like they're like um, they're a really important sort of like cornerstone of the DIY world and yeah. just like this sort of like the indie music world in general. Yeah. yeah, they're carving out space that is very much needed. Yeah, it's amazing. I agree. Yeah. Uh, so I'm excited to hear your next four songs, and then we'll you know we'll talk about a little just astrology next. Oh. Hell yeah, that's <laughs> what we're the best at talking about. All right, cool. Now you're better off Distorted by Christopher 
find the thing to choose What you had to fix that you're making a better off But you know, sick of the Tracking me down Yeah, I've got to push out at this point Try not to mention the name, well I Audio Tree Live with Dump Him. All right, so let's get into it. So as we were talking the last time, I got my co-star notification. Sick. And it said, it's okay to admit that you need to rest. Yo, true. I mean, true. It's true. Should we just true. cut this short right now? Then? Yeah, so I'm going to go, actually. Yeah. I'm just going to, I'm listening to the stars. So um, <laughs> my question for you all is, what is your sign? And what is the most, like, classic you thing, like, that you identify with? And that does that make sense? That makes sense. Yeah. You know. Do you just want sun or do you want moon and rising too? How about full chart? Yeah, can we do full chart? Full chart I would yeah. love that. No, it's, okay, this is a, I'm like, I was born in February, so that's a Pisces and that's my sun. Mm-hmm. Okay, so sun. Sun. Yes. Okay. okay. I'll go, you can go first. Me? Oh, yes. okay. Um, I am a cancer. We're not doing the full chart, so the rest is a mystery. Um, well, you could say everything else. Okay, Libra, moon, Libra, <laughs> rising, <laughs> and then yeah. the whole rest of my inside of my chart until Mars is Gemini. Um, which is a mess. Um, the most cancer thing I do, I think it's all in the lyrics, you know? You just have to listen. <laughs> mm-hmm. You'll hear it. Mm-hmm. That's what I think. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a cancer sun. I'm a Pisces moon. Uh, I'm a Capricorn rising. I feel like people think that I have my shit together, and to some extent I do, because I'm a Cap rising, but I also think about death a lot, and I'm really <laughs> emotional and intense, and I'm all cancer inside the chart, except I have a Libra Mars. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. AJ? AJ? Uh, let me see. Uh, I'm a Sagittarius sun, Aquarius moon, Taurus rising, and the most Sagittarius thing is that I'm probably brutally honest to a lot of people. <laughs> okay. I love it, yeah. And to myself a lot of the time. Okay. That's, that's, that's a good trait. Yeah. 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 
Um, I am also a Cancer Sun, <laughs> um, Taurus Moon, and Sag Rising. Um, and I guess the most Cancerian thing about me nice. is um, I can sometimes brood a lot and like hold my feelings in and like feel really weird and bad about stuff. But then as soon as I talk about them, I also have Cancer Mercury. Oh, we're doing full chart: Cancer Mercury, <laughs> Venus in Gemini, and Mars in Virgo. But then once I talk about my shit, I'm like, oh, I feel so much better. <laughs> and actually, Otto, who is our bass player, yes, our regular bass player, who could them. not make it on this tour, shout out to Otto. We love Otto. 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 Brother. Thanks, Otto. Brother. <laughs> yeah, we love Otto. Their chart is um, their Aquarius sun, Leo moon, Cancer rising, wow. mm -hmm. I think. I couldn't have done that off the top of my head. Yeah, I, I forget bad. the rest. They have Capricorn, Mercury, and yeah. something else. Nice. Bad at remembering everyone's <laughs> I don't know. I all I think I know that I'm a I'm a Pisces moon and a Pisces rising mm, and yep. something else. You have some other signs in there somewhere. There's I don't know what else I don't stuff. know what anything else is. That's fair. But I know that I don't know, I, I cry a lot of things. Yeah. So that's pretty Pisces, yeah, right? That's true. Very I cry Pisces. at musicals. One time I saw a Les Mis and I just cried for like fifty minutes that after it ended. Uh, so tragic it's though. like tragic but the thing that like got me wasn't like the people dying it was like everyone singing at the end and mm. i was just like did, really emotional did you bring some tish <laughs> oh i did yeah okay. i did did you see it like a live or did you see the movie it was it was a the live one the live one yeah Ooh, i haven't seen the live i've never one. Yeah. i've only read the book Something about oh, you are like the only person in the world who has only read the book <laughs> <laughs> classic how I am. It's so long. Yeah. It's such it's an really undertaking. Good. It's an amazing book. Yeah. It's worth it. Oh, man. You can get it at Brisbane. I feel like choppy. it would take me like seven months to read. Yeah. I had to read it in um, the the 10th grade. I had to read it for English class. And I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> that was me at The Stranger. And Yo, the, hell yeah. No, another I was like, book. everything's a construct. Yeah. Nope. That, yep. That and The Plague mm -hmm. was another... Mm -hmm. anyway. Let's talk about existentialism. Yeah. No. <laughs> so how does it work with three cancers and a Sagittarius? In one band, a lot of processing. A lot of processing. That's good. It's a it's Virgo season. Mm -hmm. What does know, that mean? There's uh, it's it's a time to process. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Um, gotcha. I don't know. I love a Virgo. You know. Yeah. <laughs> like when they're good, they're good. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> there are a lot of good Virgos. Shout out to Derek. Yeah. Derek. I like Derek. Cool. Virgo. Shout out to my mom. Yo. Your yes. Mom. All right. This has been good. This has been yeah. This yeah. is this is our truth. Um, yeah, me and Maddie also brought weighted blankets on tour, so that's how it works, I us all being cancer. We're like, um, I need to go in the car and sit with my weighted blanket for a little while. It's and happened just twice. Yes. <laughs> that feels right. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, well, I'm glad we could talk about this. Me too. And thank you for coming in. Thank yeah. you for having us. Of course, anytime. Uh, let's hear your last song. Yeah. Everything that I do always come back to this. It's not a wound on a sky. In our bedroom, what we No one can hear to care when. Turn early and not a kill.
This has been Audio Tree Live with Dump Him. Thank you guys so much for being here. That was awesome. Um, uh, their album, uh, Dykes to Watch Out For, is out now on Get Better Records and Musical Fanzine Records. Um, they will be at uh, The Fallout tonight in Minneapolis. And then, um, what day is it today? And then Sunday in Missoula, Montana. And they also have a bunch of uh, tour dates coming up, so check that out on social media. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. thank you to the camera lighting crew and to everyone in the Thanks studio. So. And thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Goodbye. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?